See what you made me do? <laughs> Fed up with being depicted as outdated and oppressed, a group of young American Muslim women created a video to the soundtrack of Jay-Z Somewhere in America in which they painted a picture of a colourful, vibrant Islam, a picture of their reality. With one in ten Londoners being Muslim, a walk down Oxford Street is enough to show that this reality isn't unique to the US. For many Muslims in Britain, they are second or third generation from migrant families, and they've grown up immersed in British culture, literate in British languages, and also literate in fashion. These young people are taking the sign of the hijab, of clothes that make them visible as Muslims, and destigmatizing it, using fashion as communication. There's been a lot of negativity or misunderstanding and misconceptions towards this particular group of people. And yet they've chosen to respond to that by shining beautifully wherever they go. They're a beautiful illustration and an example of the idea that we have a choice of how to respond with what we're faced with. And there's this notion that because a woman is covered, she is therefore oppressed. It's a different form of a shackle. No, hold on. You know, this is not what Muslim women are like. This is not what I am like. This is not my experience. And this is not what my faith teaches. It's very important for young Muslims to speak up in a way that you couldn't do it before. Before, you just had to accept whatever is in the newspaper is in the newspaper. But now you, you can actually have a voice and say, no, actually, what it says in the newspaper is not true, or what they showed on TV is not true. Have I just been walking around with my eyes closed because I live in the same city as Sarah and I, I don't think I've seen this. I must have seen it but just been walking around with my eyes closed. You know, I come from a conservative culture so there's a certain way you should wear it. You don't question it. That's what it is. So um, seeing this it really did open my mind. Modest fashion isn't entirely altruistic. According to Thomson Reuters the industry is worth over 146 billion pounds globally. There is a huge market for it, even amongst the women who are not Muslim women, but I think they haven't been catered for. Those women can't find what they want in the shops, so they might want a maxi skirt, but one that doesn't have a slit to the thigh, or that doesn't come in a transparent floral fabric. They're confident and they're very forward-thinking, but still want to retain their modesty. They've grown up with global consumer culture. They expect to be able to express and communicate parts of themselves just like anybody else. But this modern movement is also the target of criticism. They just bash, bash their comments literally underneath your picture as if nobody can see it. And sometimes some of the comments are really, really aggressive. Like, you know, end your life to uh, Muslims shouldn't be dressing like this. You're mocking Islam. You're being very um, devilish. Modest fashion brings with it all sorts of moral judgments about what is real modesty, what is appropriate, what is the correct interpretation. Hijab is not just about my physical headscarf on my head. It's about the conduct, it's about my manners and my character, the way that I am with people. Some people will say that I'm too fashionable, that this hijab is quite unique. But this is something that I feel comfortable with. I need to feel confident. It's about modesty, but also hijab can be incredibly beautiful, incredibly fashionable. One of the reasons why our city is so dynamic is because of the diversity and ultimately that diversity makes for an evolved, more sophisticated society and world. <laughs>